So I am going to try to kill the must down here with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda down here in my basement. And if you've been following the channel, you know that I had a little bit of flooding recently when the sump pump went out. Now, what that did was make it a terrible mess and a lot of cleanup, but I am suffering from a lingering musty smell here in the basement. Now, I've actually used a little can of odor bomb spray, and that has actually helped a ton. I would say in terms of the must factor, let's say it's a scale of zero to 10, and 10 is what it was after the flooding. Even after I dried stuff up, I've got fans going and dehumidifiers and all that. The must after the deodorant kind of went down to maybe a three. So it worked actually pretty good. I was pretty happy with that. But there's still a lingering musty smell and I'm just fastidious about taking care of it. One, because it stinks. So I ordered this. This is actually an ozone machine and it's a small cheap one. It's really not meant for a basement like this big, but I figured I'll go cheap or go home. <laughs> but this actually will run for a couple hours. It produces O3. I'm not a scientist about how this works, but O3 is kind of toxic or it oxidizes organic materials. So if I have little bits of mildew or something like that, I think even bugs and plants, that kind of stuff, it will essentially oxidize them, corrode them, kill them. And my hope is that it will just kind of polish off the last of the musty smell. I don't expect it to get rid of everything. You know, if it was a zero before and it went to a 10 after the flooding and the deodorant brought it down to a three, I'm just hoping that this will bring it down a notch or two to a two or a one, right? And that would be pretty successful for me. As you can see here, it just has a little timer on the front here. So I can just set this, forget it, leave the house, make sure you leave the house, take your plants, take your kids, take your dog, whatever, because it's not good to breathe this stuff in. I will say a lot of people use this on cars after they smoke a cigarette or something in them. So they're kind of useful for that too. But we're going to try it down here. Hopefully it will make a little bit of a difference. So here is the device. It's smaller than a toaster, three plug outlet here. I'm just going to plug it into this extension cord. And now the front of this thing actually kind of looks like an old school ham radio or something. But we have a power switch right here and then a timer up here. And I guess that's where it'll create the ozone. So I'm just going to turn this timer to 120 minutes actually i think it is kind of like an old school timer i think it's just kind of spring loaded and so even though i set it to 120 minutes and it's not on i think it'll just kind of roll back to zero there so now i'm just going to turn it on oh god oh god that's ozone all right now i'm just going to leave this running here see it's doing something in the back there and leave the house Hmm, already smells like ionized air. All right, I'm out of here. Also, I should note that I turned off everything, the furnace, the air conditioner, all that stuff. So I'm not circulating air through the house with the fan. I'm really just trying to focus that ozone on the basement. Okay, we'll see what it does. All right, I just came home. I actually turned on the thermostat from my app to get the air recirculating. It's actually been a couple of hours since the ozone maker would have shut off. So I've just been out running some errands and whatnot. I thought I would just see what it's like. I will tell you what, when I walked in, I actually went uh, over to the screen door first and opened that up just to air things out because I could actually smell the ozone smell. I'm assuming that's what I'm smelling. And I'm coming down here in the basement and I can kind of smell it. In fact, it's still on but I don't see that little light in there. So that timer turned off the ozone producing portion of this. What it smells like to me down here right now is like kind of burnt metal, but not like smoky burnt, kind of like when you have an electronic or a computer that is kind of on its last legs and you're smelling maybe that heat sink or the CPU kind of burning. It just has a little bit of that metallic smell to it and maybe a little bit of like chlorine that's kind of what i'm picking up here if i were taste testing this ozone maker's output it would be eh, cooking metal and a little bit of pool chlorine or something it's not overwhelming by any means but i can definitely smell it it just feels and smells a little tinny in here okay now i will say the air conditioner has been running the fans have been running so the air is circulating around here 
I'm not passing out or anything. I think the half-life of this is supposed to be like five hours. So five hours after the thing goes off, you're probably starting to get in that safe zone here, but I'm just gonna open everything up, the doors up, just make sure we air all this out. And it's probably a little too early to tell you if it got rid of my musty smell or not. So what I'm gonna do here is just let this air out and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and give you my final thoughts on this because you know, if it didn't get rid of it, I own the sucker, so I might as well run it again. But if it did a good job of kind of bringing that four on the musty scale down to a three or two or one, I'll be really happy, but maybe we'll have to run it again. The only real bad part of this is that you gotta leave that house. I mean, I don't know if you have to, but you gotta go outside or run errands or do something like that. So I'm gonna have to go see Bad Boys 4 again. All right, follow up coming tomorrow. All right. Let me give you an update on my little ozone generator here. So it's actually day three after I use this. Actually, the first day I used it, um, I waited a couple hours after it was done. I opened up the doors, turned on the fans, turned on the air conditioning and the, the fan and the furnace just to kind of circulate air. And as I mentioned, the house had a little bit of that metallic smell, it just kind of smelled like heated metal or something like that. But it kind of lingered actually for a day or two. And I was a little worried about me smelling that and not smelling the mustiness and thinking the mustiness was gone because it's being replaced with something else. Now, on day two, it was much less noticeable. I didn't really notice it unless I came down here and even then it was a little mild, a little subtle. And now on day three, I can't smell it at all. So what I can smell though, there is still the smallest hint of mustiness. I mentioned that the deodorant took it from like a 10 to a four. And now after running this for two hours, it's kind of gone from a four to a two, but I'm kind of greedy if I can go from a two to a one or a one to a zero. There's always a little bit of mustiness. It's damp down here. It's not very well ventilated, et cetera, et cetera. But what I was thinking is now I can just roll out, have some lunch, spend an afternoon away from the house, run this thing again, maybe for an hour or two, but I think it's gonna get rid of the final musty smell. So I'm really impressed with it. Yes, the deodorant helped a lot, probably masked some smells. Although the deodorant that I use says it doesn't mask it, it actually gets rid of it or absorbs it. But this little ozone generator here really kind of took it over the edge. So whether you're trying to get smells out of your car or a shed or an office or a mouse died in your wall or something like that, probably Mickey Mouse. But you can absolutely use this to clean stuff up. And if you have a flooded basement, like so many people do, like this guy, man, you're gonna want this thing. It's only 40 bucks and it did work a treat. Even though it's not rated for this much space, man, it really did some work here. So I'm really happy with this. I can finally have guests over again without being like, oh, sorry about the smell. So run it one last time, just polish it off a little bit. But if you wanna pick up, this little ozone generator here because it's cheap and effective. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.